Welcome back, sweet friends, and thank you for continuing on my journey to give my outdated kitchen a temporary refresh while we decide whether to remodel for selling it, renting it, or just continue to use the space, each of those, of course, demanding very different paths. One side of the kitchen is complete, and last week we toured the cooking area. I'll link that in the description box below. I'll also link the baking center video if you're interested as well. But here are the highlights from the area directly above and to the right of the stove. We looked at my cooking vessel storage, as well as where I keep casserole dishes, and a quick look at my spices, as well as the organization of various other tools and ingredients. This week, we'll be visiting the inside of the cabinets and drawers located to the left of my stove and just across from my refrigerator. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss next week's fridge tour. I'm so excited to share it with you. Let's begin in the morning cabinet. I set this up so my family has easy access to quick weekday breakfast items, as well as one area for our weekend and weekday breakfast dishes. The cereals are stored in these pop-top containers I purchased at Walmart for less than nine bucks a piece. They're easy to use and are the perfect size for my space. I originally purchased these OXO containers on the left, and while there's nothing wrong with them aside from the fact that they are quite pricey, they just didn't work with my non-adjustable shelves. The space goes to the ceiling, but the facing board forced you to turn them for placement, and that just didn't work for us. These fit, they're neat, and all four cost about the same as one of the OXO. The next shelf houses the cereal bowls, toast and pastry plates, fruit dishes, as well as my egg cups. This basket contains instant oatmeals and other ready-to-eat items, although I do try to vary the selection from week to week. And the lower shelf contains the toaster, so it isn't cluttering up the counter, larger plates, juice glasses, and a couple of different size of milk pitchers, one for an individual and a larger one for multiple people, as well as a designated breakfast sugar bowl. Everyone is really enjoying the convenience of this station, and I'm enjoying being able to see what needs to be refilled or replaced with just a glance. The drawer below is where I store breakfast breads. This week it was bagels and apple streusel bread, but again, those vary from week to week. A couple of spaces in this area I have chosen to set up as a to-go station. I have every other Sunday family dinners, and I found I was running out of containers to send food home with my guests. So this cabinet houses styrofoam trays given to me by a restaurant owner friend, along with some deli paper, while this drawer contains disposable silverware, napkins, condiment cups, straws, and drinking cups. Now I chose a palette of silver and white, but you could definitely change out these items seasonally to provide a festive touch, or just introduce colors that complement your own kitchen. I'm using gifted to me supplies, but we'll be replacing them as they're used with more environmentally conscious products. The drawer below that serves to house all of the kitchen papers and storage bags. I use Dollar Tree vases to house the storage and freezer bags, remove the tops of the wax paper and the parchment paper, just so that along with my foil and clear wrap containers, the drawer remains a cohesive space when it's opened. The lowest drawer is no longer filled with empty butter dishes or lid missing Tupperware as I replace them all with these nesting glass containers. And friends, I love them. They stack neatly into one another with their lids attached. So no more lost lids and they free up prime space. I purchased this set at Sam's, but uh, elsewhere sells them at uh, Walmart, Target, places such as that. And you'll only see half of them today because I use them for storage all the time. I encourage you to make the change. You won't regret it. Whether you're setting up new spaces in your kitchen or just reorganizing old ones, I hope you received plenty of ideas today, and I encourage you to comment below with your favorite space so far or with one of your own special ideas. 
Revamping your kitchen is a labor of love, sweet friends, but the end results can make a giant impact to your overall peace within that space. Make sure yours is sprinkled with sparkle.